Hi everyone, I hope you had a good weekend. Welcome to our thought for the day. And today, we're gonna to be thinking about how our lives can be really fragile. With everything going on with lockdown and coronavirus, I've just been thinking about this recently and remembering just how fragile life is. I mean, all it's taken is a dodgy bat from China and a quarter of the world is locked down in their homes. And now I think about my life before lockdown and I realise that I think everything's all fine and then one thing can come along and disrupt it and make it fall apart. Or, or I can just really struggle with something and it might be something physical, it might be emotional, it might be mental health wise and it might be relationships. Everything in our lives can be really fragile. And sometimes it feels like life is like a stack of cards, like the one behind me, where they're all just stacked up and everything's nice but all it takes is one thing to be removed and the whole thing comes tumbling down. Should we try it? The whole thing came tumbling down. Life can be really fragile. And I'm reminded of these words in the Bible from 2 Corinthians 4 verse 7. It says, but we have this treasure in jars of clay to show that this all-surpassing power is from God and not from us. Paul, who wrote that, is saying that our lives are like, like clay jars. They're delicate, they're fragile, they smash easily, they're easily broken. And sometimes I feel like that, like my life or the world around me is really delicate. But he also says that there is treasure inside that clay jar. And in that sense, he's talking about Jesus. He's talking about the hope and the love and the life of Jesus that is stored within us. God chooses to put his life and his spirit inside us. We're delicate, we're easily broken, and yet for some reason, because of his love for us, God chooses to put his life and his love inside us. And so as you go through this day, I'd love you to remember that even though we are fragile and our world is broken, God still puts his treasure inside you. And so let's pray. God, thank you that even in our brokenness, in our anxiety, in our fear, you choose to put your treasure inside us. And I pray that we would remember that as we go through, that we are filled with your love and your life, even if it feels like our lives are quite delicate and fragile at the moment. In Jesus' name, Amen.